A humanitarian crisis is escalating in Nepal this morning, where the death toll from Saturday's earthquake is well above 4,000. Dramatic video taken by a drone shows the scope of the damage in the capital of Kathmandu. Nepal's prime minister fears that Saturday's quake may have killed 10,000 people. Heavy rain is making conditions harder for survivors and rescue workers. This morning, searchers are focusing on towns and villages outside the capital. Holly Williams is in Kathmandu with those rescue crews. Holly, good morning. Good morning. The fear here in Nepal is that there could be many more dead and injured in remote towns and villages where help still isn't getting through. We went to the town of Bhaktapur this morning where the Nepalese police told us nearly 250 people lost their lives to the earthquake. They've been digging through the wreckage of this house in Bhaktapur for more than two days, searching for three people who were inside when the ground began to shake. Watching on is Bimal Twanabasu. His mother lies beneath the rubble. But the rescue workers say there's no hope she's still alive. Many of Bhaktapur's houses were centuries old, not built to withstand earthquakes. The force of the tremors toppled them like dominoes. On the next street, we found this Chinese search and rescue team. They told us they were guided to this demolished house by the stench emanating from the debris. They believe there's at least one dead body here. The Chinese have specialist gear and they're experienced in earthquake zones. But the Nepalese police they're working with don't even have gloves. In this small Buddhist temple, we discovered 40 families taking shelter. They all lost their homes when the earth heaved. They're running short of food and water. And Bawani Ranjit told us they're growing frustrated. Are you getting any help at all? No, still we are not getting any help. We are waiting for the help, but uh, no, no one are look, looking for us to help. Nepal simply wasn't ready for a disaster on this scale, and now its people are paying the price. International rescue and medical teams are making their way into Nepal, but the aid has been slow in arriving and in some cases it's even been turned away because Kathmandu's airport is simply too small to cope with so much traffic. Gail? Holly Williams in Kathmandu, we thank you.